So in this video, I'm going to make myself a new carving knife. And I'm modeling it after one that I already had, but the handle on the store-bought one was a little dainty for my hands. So I wanted uh, a newer handle, thicker, something that I was able to hold on a little bit easier to. Because with this small one, I have to, I have to really squeeze my fingers tight. I just wasn't very comfortable for a long time. So this one, it's a little bit more comfortable for my hands. So if you're interested in making a carving knife, stick around and I'll show him how I made this one. Okay, there's my mounting plate. Since the magnets I want to use don't stick to my stainless steel pan, I had to get a little creative on how to attach the saw blade securely so that I can keep it in my metal pan, keep the pan full of water, and cut the blade without it overheating. Now I'm going to fill this up with water so that it's just touching the bottom of the blade and I'll cut it with an angle grinder.
Uh, I switched over to a finer grit and I'm just going to use that to clean up all the scratch marks from the heavy grit. Okay, now to move to my finest grit. Now I'm going to move over to some hand sanding for the, the last of the work.
there's one thing I've learned. You really don't want to finish anything shiny, like a wax or a polyurethane or even a lacquer on your hand carving tools, because it, it tends to give me a blister. So if I just use linseed oil, just some oil, no real finish. So this is just going to get a couple of coats of linseed oil. Now this is the same pallet wood that I used to make my ice scraper for my car. So I'm hoping that it's going to give me a nice rippled look to it. So as you can probably tell from all of the clips where I was holding different blades as I was sharpening them, you probably realize I've made quite a few more than just one. And before you post any comments, ask me questions on how to do this or best methods or good ideas, I just want to make sure that you understand that I am not a metal worker. Yeah, none of those will keep an edge. Just curled the blade as soon as I tried to sharpen them. So there's only the one that actually was a good blade. I was able to put a good edge on it and I was able to keep the edge and it wasn't rolling the edge at all. So yeah, out of all that, I only got one good one. <laughs>